as soon as you figure out, okay, this needs to be done every day at this time, automate it. We interrupt this program to bring you this important message. Welcome to Marketing Interruption, a daily podcast powered by Blue Tusker that interrupts your day with marketing news, tips and strategies from an entrepreneur who lives and breathes marketing. Now, let the interruption begin with your host, Andrew Ma. Hello and welcome to episode number 11 of Marketing Interruption. I'm your host, Andrew Maftone, and today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite subject, the benefits of marketing automation. So I'm actually going to lead uh, this episode with my featured tool for today, um, simply because it's, it's the one I've used for so long. I, I will be very honest, I have used a lot of other marketing automation softwares and they all are very good if you leverage them a lot. I just have a personal preference. Uh, I'm, I'm a big HubSpot guy. Love HubSpot, mainly because on a lead generation side, I also get to tie in all the CRM stuff, which is great. So, marketing automation, the benefit of it. Uh, keep in mind, HubSpot is not paying me a dollar. <laughs> um, I just use them all the time. I'm gonna use them as a reference, but I'm also just gonna talk about marketing automation in general. And one of those things is, I know a couple weeks ago, I, I talked a lot about content creation and how you just need to be putting out a ton of content and you need to basically be everywhere that you can be and it's difficult, but here's how to create, you know, one piece of content and cut it up and all that fun stuff. When you're creating a ton of content and you're also relying on running advertising and doing email marketing, if you're doing a great newsletter and you have a daily newsletter, and then you also have sales and you have uh, videos that you're creating, you're doing all these 500 different things going on. If you don't figure out how to automate it, it becomes almost unscalable because you can't simply just have a massive marketing department with a ton of wildly like new people learning stuff and basically going over like constantly training and constantly it's just, it's just not scalable because you're you're going to spend so much time training and teaching and you're going to spend a lot of time doing stuff that you could automate now ai is definitely something that we'll have to get into at another time i'm not going to get on there i'm going to go after more if then statement stuff for now which yes i know is kind of also ai but stay with me um so I wanna talk about uh, a lot of different things you can automate. So I know we talked about the content creation a couple weeks ago and you know, the gated content and all that fun stuff. So I leverage HubSpot in many, many different ways. And one of the things, and many other marketing automation softwares, I don't wanna be biased to only HubSpot, but there's so many different things that you can do to get people as far down the funnel to almost just convert and, and sell themselves before you even have to talk to them. Your goal as a marketer if you're uh, working with, if you're an e-commerce company, your goal as a marketer is just to get more sales at the end of the day and that's it. And then if you're in a, a B2B business and you're, and you're doing lead generation, your goal is to get as many highly qualified leads to your sales team as possible and as little unqualified leads as possible and basically have that person ready to just say yes and almost make the sales person um, like just a formality that they have to go through. So a lot of things are, are kind of everywhere, right? You have so much stuff going on. So the, the benefit of marketing automation really is, it's a general term, and I know I'm sitting here basically preaching marketing automation. Great, every, every fucking marketer should know that they need to automate everything because who doesn't want to be sitting on a beach while they're making money? It's great. But there's a lot of things that you need to think about with marketing automation, and this is where, I know I had mentioned this a few weeks ago, where you have to think about when you're doing a specific strategy, you're doing a specific uh, uh, tactic or, or whatever, you have to think about the other things that it touches. So yeah, great, you're working on paid advertising right now, but you also have to think about that email marketing campaign you're running and think about the landing pages it's sending to and how they convert and what steps are taken after that because it's going to decipher the content you write, the times you post, the, the, the it's gonna decipher everything. And the reason I bring that up is because you have to do the same thing with marketing automation. You can, let's say you have a very simple automated marketing email that goes directly to someone after they downloaded a piece of gated content. Okay, you downloaded a live calendar um, and I send you an, an email immediately with the link to the calendar. It says, great. And then you have the standard 
wait a day, send them another piece of content, wait two days, send them something else, and you're kind of sending them down an email funnel. It's great, but if they don't unsubscribe after like six or seven emails, they're just gonna get annoyed by the fact that you're sending them all these emails of extra crap, or they're going to get very intrigued by the email and they're gonna start digging around, but they just aren't converting and you don't know why. So one of the things that I will set up is, you know, you have to think about other places that they may go and other things that may see. And you can also think about like within HubSpot, I know that you, you can, you run the ad, you, or I mean, you can run the ad direct, you can run a social ad geez, directly through HubSpot. So you can run the ad through HubSpot and you can actually see if someone interacted with that ad, then you can see what content they may have, have looked at, what videos they may have viewed and things like that. And the more information you have about this person, the, the better. So you can start to put them into buckets. So, okay, uh, this person, uh, this group of people downloaded this gated content, saw this many social ads and read this many emails. This is a highly qualified group. Um, we're gonna now trigger an automated, uh, we're going to trigger an automated email marketing campaign that's a little bit more it's a little bit more straightforward of hey call us let's work together kind of thing and then they're also going to get put into a different audience that then gets shared over to facebook and now they're going to start to see a facebook ad that is a lot more uh you know get in touch with one of our salespeople kind of thing if you haven't noticed by the way side note i'm not the copy guy in the house <laughs> um so i just set up all these uh, all these different things you didn't think about all the different touch points. So it's kind of like if you look at the funnel of, of where they're going and you see like, okay, from the top of the funnel, they're going to the, to the website and then from the website, maybe they don't go anywhere else. So I set up a retargeting and then maybe they're going here and I set up this. And there's several different things that you have to do. And you're always constantly thinking. The benefit about marketing automation is you can basically set these things up, automate the email, automate the, the list that they're added to that they then get triggered to a new uh, Facebook ad, automate the, the chat bot or the, the text message that may directly go to them. You automate all this stuff and then you get to do my favorite part, which is sit back and just watch it happen. You get to start reading the data. Okay, this audience is reacting very well to the text message, but they're not loving the email as much. Let me tweak that. Normally, creating that list, sending that email, sending that text message is an obnoxiously long process that takes five different people who have 10 different concepts behind what they're doing. But if you can automate all that, you can sit back and focus more on much bigger things. Don't spend your day to day uh, making new emails all the time and triggering out emails manually. Don't spend your day to day creating new uh, lists and sending them to Facebook and creating audiences that way. You want to set all this stuff up. It, it, you could easily take a regular, and I've done this countless times, or worked with a company that will do usually, let's say, under 20 million. We can, you know, in revenue a year, we can basically sit down and go, okay, it's going to take us X amount of hours to set up this marketing automation machine. And then it's going to take us like, three hours a week to just make sure that it's running properly. And then an additional, you know, 10 hours a week to optimize um, paid advertising. So we would go from basically having this massive uh, marketing department that could have five, six, seven employees at a, at a $20 million company go down to just, just outsourced like, hey, we're gonna set it all up and then we're gonna we're gonna tweak and adjust. So now we're spending our time improving or spending our time improving instead of just doing. Otherwise you're just doing stuff with no true data. Automating is my favorite thing to do. I will preach automation all day. I love finding things to automate so that no one has to worry about them anymore. As soon as you figure out, okay, this needs to be done every day at this time, automate it. That's it. Uh, I already gave you your feature tool, so that's it. So please make sure that you start sending your questions uh, so that I have something um, other than friends and family going forward uh, for our Friday questions or even I'll probably start doing them during the week too. But if not, rate, review, subscribe, email me with any questions, comments, concerns to marketing automation, nope, marketing interruption at bluetusker.com. And I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for today's marketing interruption. Make sure to rate, review and subscribe to the show. And don't forget to email marketinginterruption at bluetusker.com 
with any marketing questions you'd like to have answered on the show and head over to marketinginterruption.bluetusker.com to catch up on past episodes. Until next time, we now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.